All right, this is Blood on Sweden. I'm back again with a new SOCDS tutorial series, but this time it's all about Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Uh, for this game, we'll develop a new way of downloading, installing, and maintaining your dedicated server called the Steam CMD. So we will not be using the old HLDS update tool, which we did back with Counter-Strike Source. So yeah, this is part one, how to download and install the server. Part two will be how to set it up. Part three, some advanced configurations. And we will also talk about port forwarding and some mods. So yeah, you can go ahead and download Steam CMD. There is a download link in the description below. Once you have it, just go ahead and open it up and you will see the Steam CMD EXE. The only thing you need to know about this program is not to install it to the regular Steam client folder and not to any old installation with the HLDS update tool. Otherwise you can install it anywhere you like. So I'm going to create two new folders. One Steam CMD and one SRCDS Go. And I'm going to drag over the exe file from the Steam CMD zip into the Steam CMD folder. And I'm going to launch it. The tool will now download all the necessary files we need in order to make this work. Once finished, you will see a Steam prompt right down here. And the first thing we need to do now is to log into our Steam account. For Counter-Strike Global Offensive, you can also log in anonymously, but I'm going to show you how to do this anyway. If you want to log in with your own account, you just type login, username, and password. But I am going to use the anonymous login, and that's just login anonymous. And it will connect to the Steam public servers in a while. There we go. The next thing you need to do is to specify to what folder the server will be downloaded to. And that's why I created my SRCDS Go. So my file path will be G SRCDS Go. Like that. And the command for that is force underscore install underscore dir and mine was g s r c d s go press enter and now you have specified that it is to that folder the server should be installed to and then to start the actual download all you have to do is to type in app underscore update 740 which is the app id for counter strike global offensive and validate at the end and press enter and the downloading will commence so yeah that's really it how to download and install the server so call back, come back for part two and we will check out how to set it up thank you for watching and i'll see you the next time